if you hung around this long waiting for a video, God bless you. What's it been, like two months? Maybe. Uh, I'll be honest with you, in those two months, uh, I don't think I've touched the bike, but maybe a couple times, a couple of things I've buttoned up on it, but uh, I've had zero interest in working on a thing or even going racing. It's just summer got here and it hit hard and hit fast, and I've been enjoying riding my motorcycle around on the street and adventuring around and just kind of doing like summer things and uh it's been fun but i do miss racing and it just so happens that there is a no prep race nuclear no prep in byron illinois on saturday it's thursday right now so you guys will probably see this uh as i'm recording right now it's thursday i'm off of work tomorrow so i can go down there and they're gonna let uh let us test a little bit on friday and it wouldn't be a race i am sweating like a nun in a cucumber patch it uh it's a typical Byron race that uh, I think that nuclear plant down there creates its own weather, but uh, it's going to be like 91 degrees and just hot and miserable. Every time I go to that track, it's just a fucking ass crack sweater of a day. Um, but uh, this, this I think was the, uh, I honestly wasn't going to go to this race. I just, uh, if, at first the turnout didn't look like it was going to be much, like there wasn't a lot of cars locked in. And usually, you know, as bike guys, we're, you know, we're second class citizens. Uh, we need cars to show up for there to even be an event and it just didn't look good and but last week or so it's like a lot of people showed up and uh, that's good uh, more racing in the area the better but they have two bike classes which never works because there's not enough bikes that actually want to race let alone ones you can break into two classes for whatever reason so of course there's a, course there's a hand clutch class and then a race bike class uh, whatever that's just a whole nother argument for a different day or debate whatever uh, so right now, uh, everybody cried and wanted a hand clutch class and there's zero bikes locked into that class. And there's, I believe 10, maybe 12 at this point in the race bike class, which is, uh, anything goes except for a slick and a wheelie bar. And that's the stuff we like to do because let's be honest as bikes, uh, the crowd doesn't really care to watch us run. I've never been to an event that had more than probably 10 people watching the bikes race. If it wasn't for the racers themselves or the racers families. I go off. I mean, I'm telling you, it's been a while and I can just keep going here. But uh, uh, events like this and having a bike class, uh, it's a car based society. So having the bikes is a privilege, not a, uh, it's not a right to an event like this. So to have uh, a race bike type class where it basically is any, anything except for a, you know, a slick and a bar, um, that's the stuff that'll get people that aren't really bike people to watch is like just extreme no limit kind of fast stuff um we can go out on the highway here and watch hand clutch bikes run all day if you want and of course there'd be no nobody would show up for that either <laughs> but uh anyway i am trying to get everything wrapped up here to get ready to go i still got some stuff to button up on the bike the bike's got about 15 minutes of runtime on it so i think i'm gonna go street ride it a little bit tonight I know on the methanol it doesn't really build any heat. And actually, the hotter outside it is, the better it seems to run. Um, so yeah, uh, I gotta put the oh, I gotta put the engine diaper back on. That's what I did after I got the motor all fired up and running and started working on the tune. And uh, I'm if I was a if I was a chick and these days you never know, I'd be what they call glowing right now. This is it's a sticky one. Uh, I gotta put the diaper back on and then I got a monkey with a little bit of the tunes. I had you know. That motor is new, there's only a few, or it's fresh, only a few little things that are different on it. Uh, not enough to make a drastic difference, but I was working on some uh, laptop stuff and all of my previous tunes that I keep for the bike, I try not to have just a bunch of extra. There's like really four tunes I, I focus on and they're just, they're different basically based on uh, like traction control level and power level. So uh, just cause you have options doesn't mean that you need, you need to use them all. So I try to keep it simple four tunes to pick from it's got like a low medium high and then a uh it's last race of the year tune up <laughs> so uh i've been working on one of them so the changes i've made i need to and it's mostly just like startup throttle response uh nothing with the traction controller boost and stuff i know what i want to you know do for that um but just a few like fueling tweaks timing tweaks maybe that uh, I just need to transfer over into the other, you know, three tunes that I focus on. So all four of them have all of the base 
engine dynamic uh, fueling startup stuff just kind of all the same uh, the differences are all in like the power settings mostly uh, I did start loading the trailer which is funny because I haven't really been in there since uh, winter I take everything out of it for winter so like uh, spray bottles and things don't freeze and pop and create a mess so I had to go like buy everything to restock the trailer just cleaners and you know cans of brake clean and chain lube and just the basics WD-40 whatever and uh, yeah and I got a wash the truck in a trailer and uh, I'm, I'm really dragging this intro out here because I'm hot and tired already <laughs> I've been going at it for like an hour here <laughs> so um, I'll get ice and stock the cooler in the morning but for now I think I put it off long enough I need to go get the uh, the bike squared away and then I'll kind of fill you in on what I have done in the past almost two months it's only about four hours worth of work but you know it's stuff I changed and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to getting back on the bike and making passes again I've been doing this so long sometimes it gets a little harder to get motivated every year and you question yourself whether you want to do it or just sell everything and buy a RV <laughs> so uh, no time soon I'd imagine but for now it's uh it's getting to be race week here there'll be a test at Byron tomorrow race at Byron Saturday probably sleep with a heat hangover on Sunday Wednesday our local track Great Lakes Dragway uh, sick week will be at that track so I got Wednesday off of work to go down and watch that and then I got Friday off of work to go down to GLD and MKE real street takeover is next weekend so we got a, you know, a, a busy little, you know, week and a half stretch here. So I'm tired of uh, wasting your time now, I think. So if you've hung into this intro this long, you, the, you're the real MVPs here. So let's go uh, do a little walk around on the bike, and uh, I'll kind of just catch you up on there. I won't show you doing the install and the diaper. I got a whole video on how I put that on, but let's catch up on to where we're at. We'll get things loaded, and then... Uh, go from there see you in a few minutes or actually like now uh, one thing I can catch you up on real quick here is uh, I got the hood open because I was just kind of cleaning some stuff I drained the uh, oil vapor catch can um, just like maintenance type thing check the oil I'm gonna check the air and the tires whatever for the towing trip here but uh that hood on my 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 pride and joy here the one thing I'll never get rid of that hood is brand new with brand new paint on it because Way, way up there in a windstorm about a month ago at this point, a huge branch decided to fall on the hood and basically ripple it and kink it, you know, all the way across at an angle. So uh, that was a nice surprise to find that. But yeah, my hood is brand new. The paint's all fancy looking. I mean, it's a, it's a dead ringer match. Like, it's, there's like, you know, the sunsets over here. So here, there's a weird glare with curves and things, but man, it's, it's spot on. They did an awesome job. But the old, uh, the supercharged 6.1 is still uh, hanging tight. This thing is such a blast to drive. But even the bottom side of the hood is just spotless. They did me a real good favor there. But uh, yeah, onto the bike stuff. All right, so uh, for starters, uh, that bike is, you know, I did a little work on that. Uh, basically just kind of get it ready and checked over for the season. First of all, we did a full detail job on it, which it looks awesome. Um, but I went through and replaced all of the uh, heavy battery cables on it, positive and negative side. And then I rebuilt the starter on the thing, which is really easy to do. It's just kind of a clean and freshen up job. Uh, it does need, I got I to gotta change the oil pan gasket. This thing's got a, I don't know, even know what the, what the oil pan gasket came from. It's not one of the nice comedic ones. It's something else a little thinner. Um, it does, it just, it, it weeps. So for whatever reason, it's just got like, one little spot that weeps and it'll leave a little drip so i'm gonna get the oil pan switched out or oil pan gasket switched out uh i believe everything else on this bike i think is ready to go but yeah it just got a little bit of tlc it needs a battery that's the other thing it needs a battery um yeah this thing just got a little tlc and just some check overs kind of a nut and bolt deal and uh this will be ready to go she's gonna make some passes soon uh, mine the fairings are on it because I was doing some double checking of some things, but those have got to come back off to put the diaper on just to get the straps to one of the brackets. Um, this I did all new, all the uh, all the three AN lines for the boost control, wastegate, uh, 
all that routing uh, it was all new I had bought previously um, pre-made two length lines and the length options just weren't quite right for how I wanted everything to fit so I got everything in there nice and nice and tidy kind of hard to see but it's all kind of routed how I want it now uh, the let's see if I can show you in here I did change out this piece here see my fingers down there um, that was a part uh, one of the viewers I forget who at the moment uh, made me aware of so it's a turbo smart oil pressure feed regulator but it's a returnless line or a returnless deal so it has a filter it's a feed regulator and there's no return line so what I had in there previously was the oil pressure feed regulator followed by a filter and then it had a line that fed down past the O2 on the inside of the exhaust and then returned into the water pump block off so that simplified that whole system uh, you can see the line off the turbo housing off the compressor housing over to the wastegate uh, I got some insulating wrap on that because I noticed the uh, the line that was on the bike this outer black uh, coating was starting to kind of blister so it was seeing some heat um, so we routed that just a little bit farther away from the header uh, it's hard to see because I don't have good light in here but um, it curves around the back side of the header the flange itself with the turbo bolts up there you can just see it right there um, it was just too close to that and that I believe that that flange and stuff does conduct a bit of heat if you can imagine so we got some heat sleeving on there um, what else what else what else uh, basically I've just been kind of running it idling it working on the tune checking for leaks um, I think that's about it uh, I got the batteries over here charging up I got four batteries I charge them in twos run them in pairs um, I love that setup so those will be charged ready to go that'll be those four batteries will get me through the whole weekend and I won't have to charge or I won't have to put the bike on a charger or nothing so just it's just magic it works uh, topped off the fuel so that's sitting full uh, we don't like having a lot of air or, uh, area room for moisture to uh, collect I'll uh, put actually I'll put a baggie over the vent so we'll keep the fuel system sealed that way the fuel doesn't draw in any moisture I think let me look at my list over here yeah yeah uh, <laughs> you guys weren't looking at it it's just my list of everything I own or something that needs to be worked on that's basically the whatever list um, we're about good to go I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get the diaper on I'm gonna fire it up one more time warm it uh, I'm gonna fix my tunes I'm gonna load the bike with what I think I'm gonna need and then it's time to uh, get the trailer out and start washing stuff I gotta move the uh, winter beater and then uh, yeah we'll get everything washed I'll probably do it once the Sun goes down because it's still like 86 degrees out um, We'll uh, get everything hooked up and I'll wash it when the sun is down because I don't have to work tomorrow. So I don't got to get up early for nothing. Well, it's about an hour later and paper is on. Actually, pretty glad to have one of these finally. See, it's all in there and nice. And I went ahead and moved my, uh, my fan over to where I actually work. So we're doing a little bit of everything tonight. Batteries are just about done to uh, bag up and load up. Well, you can see it's uh, it's dark out, and uh, I'm gonna wrap it up for the night. I'm tired. Um, basically, all I gotta do in the morning is uh, <clears throat> load the bike, load the cooler. Uh, I was gonna take the bike for a little spin around the uh, neighborhood, but um, I'm just tired and don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> I might annoy the neighbors too. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm just <clears throat> running low on sleep, so I'm going to get caught up tonight. Tomorrow's a new day. I'll get up early, and uh, I'll actually get the truck and trailer washed before I head out. So I'll have a little bit of time in the morning before I hit the track. But uh, hopefully after this, now we'll have another uh, a race video, and then another race video after that. And get back into the swing of things here. You know, summer's, uh, summer's short. Got to maximize it, I think. Mm -hmm.